What is going on, Game with Dolls? We are here with another video similar to the ones that we've done. The glitchiest player, Buxton, the most underrated player, Max Kepler. In this video, we're going to be covering the most underrated pitcher that absolutely nobody uses. Uh, I've least I've never played him in a game, but um, this this card is is absolutely insane for me at least. He might not be good for everybody, but he's good for me. Um, oddly enough, my two worst pitchers are Kluber <laughs> with a four six one. And Oswald with a four five six, but and my my best three pitches on my bottom three. But the pitcher we're going to be covering in this game is going to be Aaron Nola. This card is absolutely insane. None of his stats scream like I'm cheesy. Yeah, he offers decent control. I mean, it's a solid card, right? This card was more. It was probably it probably would have been even better for me if I would have got it early in the year. But right now I'm playing a whole bunch of ninety nine prestige mantles. And he's still shutting down. So I'm gonna show you my stats with him. Aaron Nola, 17 games, 64 inning pitch. Um, so when, in his games, a lot of the time, I, I, my goal is to get five innings to six, five to six innings out of him. Because past that, I mean, he only has, he only has 94 stamina, which in this game is like, oh, if you, if you have anything under 125, your player can only go 80 pitches. So thing is with Nola, this dude is a, sh a shut down card through his through like the first two and a half. Uh, times around the batting order and then that third time around you you want to get him out of the game Sometimes I mean sometimes he, he'll be on fire, right? So I'm gonna talk about why but we're gonna go through his numbers So 64 innings pitch eight wins three losses a three two three you can see the whip is a little high a 20 29 strikeout seven walks uh, 16 games started and four complete games, so You can see but I also want you to see is his batting a batting average against him is a 288, right? So the reason, the reason you see a, a decently high whip, not a lot of strikeouts, um, is this guy is the definition, and in the in the in the um, in the complete game number, is this guy is the definition of a pitch to contact pitcher. None of his stuff is gonna blow you away. You see the 94 fastball, easy to get to. You see a 92 sinker, easy to get to. Um, circle change and change, those are really good pitches. But like they like they. I can really locate with them, so unless their PCI is perfectly on there, even if it is perfectly on there, a lot of the times it's going to be a, a harmless pop fly or a harmless sinker. So a lot of the times, I'm getting through innings with less than 10 pitches, even sometimes less than like seven pitches, just because people get people get really antsy to think, oh, I'm going to kill this pitcher. So for the first five innings, this guy is just swinging at everything. So when I look at it, I'm through five with 40 pitches or less. And that's how you have me going complete games because at that point I'm able to run up the score and then I can pitch a little looser with um, with Nola. So like he's not like a strikeout machine. He does what like he does what he's supposed to do. He's not a strikeout machine. He doesn't walk a lot of batters. You can see he only has seven through sixty four. Um, he doesn't like obviously twenty nine strikeouts through sixty four innings pitch. Uh, but the thing is, he doesn't like he doesn't give up multiple hits to any. You see, like the batting average is good against him. That's because these people are getting like maybe one or you know one hit an inning, maybe or one or two hits an inning. But they're not like they're not like two run shots. They're not gappers. They're harmless singles up the middle, harmless singles to left. You know, it's nothing that's like gonna cause major damage. So 20, 20 his he has twenty three earned runs and sixteen of them are home runs, right? So it's just so, solo shots essentially is what he's giving up. This card is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I like, and the thing is, like I, I mentioned this earlier, I'm not going against, I'm not, go, I'm, I'm right now, a lot of these stats were in the Hall All Star because I just recently got to Hall of Fame. I played two games of Hall of Fame with him and he's been lights out. So a lot of these stats come from All Star and you know it's impossible to pitch the All Star, which is even more impressive. And then I just got this card, you know, maybe three weeks ago. And so at that point, people already had, you know, mantles and prestige levels. So I was still going against, those cards on all-star which is even crazier to think about and he was still shutting them out so uh as you can see those are the numbers he's obviously better against righties i'm better against righties i only 250 batting average against righties and 328 against lefties lefties are just tougher to pitch against um da -da -da -da. advanced stats still don't know how to read many of these but i know he only, he's only four four strikeouts per per nine right that's not a lot that that he's a real pitch to pitch to contact pitcher and it really works for me because the contact he's giving up like Oswald for me is a pitch to contact hitter but the reason he's so trash because his pitch to contacts are like 
just just smacked. It's, they're just they're just destroyed, and then it's just three run shots, two run shots. Um, but his car should be better than what it is for me. But it, I mean, I just struggle with it. A lot of people go with them. So we can go through the advanced stats. I, I personally don't know how to read them. I would love it if you guys told me how to read them. Um, but I'll probably look it up eventually. But is this car like an in-game pitcher for me? Probably not. But this guy will always, if I ever need like a starter to just come in he'll, and like everybody's tired, Aaron Noble will be that guy for sure. And I, 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 you know, I'll feel confident with an all-star or Hall of Fame. Particularly on Hall of Fame, he's even better. Like none of his stats are just trash. So he does like his home run 75. So he doesn't just give up home runs. Although someone told me home run for nine doesn't even matter. He's clutch, control. He, he can put it where you need to put it. The velo is mad, but the break is there. Hits for nine 85. K for nine 88. It's a well balanced card. It's a very well balanced card. Um, but this is my pitcher suggestion. Uh, if you guys got a picture, I need two more pitches. I can't use Kluber anymore, and I can't use Oswald any, any longer, bro. Those cards are guaranteed L's at this point. Um, and everybody's just used to them now, so I might be going out to looking for a picture. But that's gonna be the end of this video. Shout out to y'all for watching. If you got this far, say it in the chat. Tech Nine is a man. We're gonna keep keep it with the Tech Nine is a man. Shout out to Dodgers for last video. Uh, I'm gonna get this video out to y'all. So you guys have a blessed day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.